Hedging their bets, Derby Lane's poker room is set to open up next week and could be one of the very first in the country to do so. Derby Lane in Pinellas County did announce it will restart, uh, restart live racing on Friday. The card room is going to open up with limited operations on Monday the 11th. Eight in your sides, Justin Shecker is live at Derby Lane for us tonight. And Justin, I know you've been working all night to try to get some information, learn uh, what that reopening poker room is going to look like. Well, it won't be full capacity, Rod. We obtained a letter sent to Derby Lane employees that says only a quarter of the tables will be open. Now, a regular poker player here tells Eight on Your Side, even with restrictions, he thinks it's too risky to reopen so soon. I am in a league there. I play there. I contribute most of my money there. Marvin Carlins is an avid poker player at Derby Lane. I, when I play in normal games, we're elbow to elbow and we're exchanging chips. The USF professor of management tells Eight on Your Side he's not concerned about live Greyhound racing resuming on Friday afternoon. The racing side is no problem because uh, they, they, they got plenty of room there. But he says a poker room cannot safely reopen during the COVID 19 pandemic. I feel it's, it's really not the right time to do this yet. When the country's most famous casinos in Las Vegas eventually reopen, the new norm will be a four person max per poker game. Eight on your side has learned a week from Monday, Derby Lane plans to open 13 out of 52, or 25%, of the tables in their card room. When Derby Lane shut down on March 20th, a Facebook post said, During this pandemic, employees' livelihood and customer safety has been our utmost concern. I feel bad because I know the people that are working there are, you know, the, the employees are out of work. This May 1st letter to employees says positions will be eliminated when Derby Lane reopens with reduced operations. Staff returning to work will have mandatory temperature checks and they'll be required to wear masks and gloves as well as use hand sanitizer. Even with this protection for employees and an emphasis on social distancing, Carlin says you won't find him seated at a poker table anytime soon. Poker is the petri dish of pandemics. <laughs> it is extremely dangerous. Um, I, 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 as much as I love the game, I'd hate to have a winning hand and lose my life over it. And in the last hour, I've learned the limit at Derby Lane poker tables will be six players. They'll be required to wear face masks and use hand protection, either gloves or sanitizer. Guests and vendors, just like employees, will also have their temperature checked by security before being allowed onto the property. And Rod, visitors who refuse a temperature check or those who just aren't following social distancing guidelines will be asked to leave the property immediately. And Justin, I know a lot of people are watching this thinking, what about the Hard Rock Casino? And I, a lot of folks go there for that. Well, Rod, a Hard Rock spokesperson tells Ed on your side there are no set plans nor a date when their casinos in Florida will reopen. All right, Justin Checker live for us in Pinellas County. Justin, thanks for that report. The Hard Rock Hotel and Casino uh, in Hillsborough County has been closed since March 20th, just by way of information. We're told all of the hotel reservations will be automatically canceled through the 14th of May.